Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and in today's video, I would like to talk something about sharing an experience. And this is not a coding video, I have other many playlists which talks about the code stuff, but this is general my experience that I'm putting it out. And this is not gonna be highly edited video, so it's gonna be very raw, I'll just talk to you. In case you don't like these kinds of video, here is your cue. Leave right now, instead of saying later on that you wasted my 10 minutes of my life or 10 or 15 minutes of life. So here's your cue, just leave right now. For all those people who wants to listen to this talk, I will be talking about certain waves in India and what is the new wave that is currently here. It's already at the station. And in order to understand this wave, you need to understand past few waves which are which always have been there. So let's go ahead and talk about these waves in India. Some of you are probably not that old enough to understand this very first wave, but it was very early wave of education in India where people and especially the parents were moving their kids from the local medium school to English medium school. And it was really tough for all of us, all those older people who are able to understand this because we speak another dialect at our home and we were learning this Hindi as a language. So this was, can be considered as our very first language. And on top of that, most of the kids were moving into these English medium school. It was a good decision by the parents that we were able to learn English at that early phase in life. But it was really difficult because for most of us, English was our third language, local dialect, on top of that Hindi or the local language that you speak and then on top of that English. But since we were so early in the age, most of us were able to adopt. I still remember my friends who came from Maharashtra and Gujarat in my school. They were learning this local language uh, in their school and suddenly they move into environment of Hindi and then English and it was difficult. On top of that, we realized that we make so many mistakes in speaking Hindi. We sometimes change genders, we sometimes change plural to singular, and nobody bothers about it too much. But as soon as we do even a slight mistake in English, despite being the third language, everybody just jumped onto us and just start uh, saying that, hey, you speak that, that wrong, you spoke that wrong, and all of that. And later on in life, I realized that most of the native English speaker, they make equal amount of mistakes too. They are just not that much bothered about the language, but rather understanding the thought. So that was the very first wave when people were moving on to different segment of education. And you need to listen to all these waves to actually understand what I really want to make my point on. So keep a point on this, that this was the very first wave and majorly governed by the parents because they were whole and sole responsible of moving their kids into possibly a wider zone of direction by learning English at that very early phase. The second and the most important wave that I saw during my school time was this wave of preparing for IIT. Once we were all done with our 10th board exams, we all of us were deciding that uh, what subjects we are gonna choose, what makes us most interest and all of that. And while on the other hand, we saw a lot of our friends already opted in for the IIT exams, uh, taken admission in those institutes and everything, and we were just playing our basketball game. All of my friends and me decided that we are not gonna be jumping in these on uh, this wave and rather we'll be enjoying our basketball game and we'll be preparing for our upcoming 12th boards and that's it <laughs> no further plan up for that after that but during the school time we all saw that some of these students are in a terrible condition they are constantly churning out these subjects these exams despite having no interest and we saw literally some of the students sleeping in our school on a monday morning because Entire Sunday went on just exam. They were preparing whole Saturday night, didn't got a time to rest on Sunday and they're being frustrated very much. And if you're genuinely interested in preparing for IITs and you know how to prepare for them, that's great. But some of them were genuinely not interested. They were interested more in just getting past in 12th and that's it. But their parents were forcing them constantly, assuming their kids is a genius who deserved a seat in IIT. And some of them openly said that we are no genius at all. We are barely surviving in those uh, hackling institutes and we don't want to go there anymore. A lot of them started to bunk. A lot of them started to just go sit and come back. But this was a wave which I saw it very closely that how this is shaping up the future of entirety. 
This whole wave is pretty brilliant to see if you watch it a little bit uh, closer there because this wave started because of a belief that all of the parents are believing that their kids are absolutely brilliant and genius. And uh, they believe that their kids deserve a seat in IIT and that's how it started after that. After that, I saw a little wave and that was the wave of preparing for government exams. This was the third wave that I saw during my engineering because a lot of, lot of my friends were preparing for these government exams. Some of them preparing because they thought, let's just give it a try. And that was, I think, a brilliant way of preparing for something. Some of them were preparing because their parents were forcing them that if you are not gonna get this government jobs, your entire life is just waste. People either do a government job or are just total failure. And uh, this, I think, is not very accurate. People are doing without government jobs absolutely fine. And some of my friends wanted to do the government jobs because they actually care about the country and every single day this is the only thing in their mind. And they are thriving at their jobs. Rest of them, some of them were also there in the category that uh, if we are going to get into government jobs, uh, we don't have to do anything at all. And we'll be just taking up the salary without doing anything. Far far from truth. Government jobs are as grilling as any other jobs. In fact, more responsibility is there. But majority of this segment were drived by their parents' force that no matter what, you have to prepare for the government jobs. And you are brilliant enough to crack these high-level exams. And this was pretty of a strange way because Parents were forcing their kids, but kids were grown up that much that they can do a resistance on that. Some of them dropped out of these institutes on their own because they were grown up and parents couldn't force that much. Still, some of them got under the force, but notice here, students are grown up now and now they are not listening as much and they are looking up for what they really want to do. Now fourth and the most important wave that you need to understand is a little bit related to business. From the very early days, it came to the fact that if you have a business idea, people will invest crores and crores of rupees in your idea so that you can scale up, which is really something different I don't really understand. From the early childhood, I have understood that business is all about creating a product or a service. You spend X amount of money in creating that service or the product or the commodity and you sell it in the Y amount of money. If customer is gonna enjoy your product or service, he's going to pay for it, and you earn your margin in between. That's what I have seen, the core foundation and definition of business. But somehow this notion got out, and in fact well implemented as well, that if you have this brilliant idea, people will invest crores and crores of money regardless if you have a proper business plan of earning the profit or not. And we see so many companies around which are just going through back and forth these investment rounds, uh, getting money after money, and they have no plan of how they're gonna make that money. Probably they have their exit strategy that somebody else will take care of with this thing that I've created, I have no idea. And uh, I'll just get out of a huge chunk of money. Everybody wants to earn this a tag of being billionaire or millionaire in their early 20s. I was recently talking to one of my teacher and he took his very first and only round of funding in the late 40s and he says our business is already very profitable. We are earning millions from the very first year and this small amount of extra money and onboarding a director is going to give you more potential and just after one year he is again in profit. I think that's what a business is all about. It's about earning money at on your own, even if the ventures don't come up, if any funding doesn't come up, you're able to stand alone on your yourself. But again, this sounds absolutely as a rainbow that somebody will invest crores and crores if I have this brilliant idea. Now, why I'm telling you all of these wave story? You need to understand that out of these four waves, three are driven by the parents and one is driven by the money. But what about if you just integrate all of these waves? Combining all of them is the next wave of 2020, where parents have started to believe that their kids are absolute genius and they can learn coding and can become the next billionaires like Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, or maybe Elon Musk. What they don't understand is, that all of these personalities, surely they are good at coding, but they are better 
in business. They're earning these billions and billions of dollars because they are really good in doing the business. But if I will state this fact that all of this is happening because of their business sense, then MBA schools will come and will advertise that we can train your 12 year old or 13 year old kids to become the next billionaire with this MBA school. I think that's surely going to come in the future, but currently the wave is all about that your kid can understand coding from the very early childhood and can become billionaire. Let me break this fact to you. What you see in the advertisement is completely different. All the advertisement of the toothpaste that you see, those are actors wearing the white coats. They are not actual doctors. Advertisement should be taken up with a grain of salt. Coding in general is a grilling process and any experienced coder will tell you that that coding is not about just writing code. It's about a grilling process when you just hunt down for the bugs in your own code. And it's not really an easy process. It takes years and years. Surely you can get started at any age. Some kids are able to do it, but not all of them. And once your kid is gonna get this trauma of believing that he's not a genius, it's gonna be difficult for him for the life. One small incident in my own life during a picnic of school, it took me 22 years to get out of it and learn actual swimming. And that was a trauma that happened way early. It was not even a big deal, but it took me 22 years to overcome that. Some of you are watching this video are not even 22 year old. So I can imagine this, that if somebody would have told me early in the life or somehow I have got this notion that I'm not really good enough in doing something, I probably won't be doing it for the entirety of my life. It's very important that you understand this. But the bigger question is, is this video gonna make any impact at all? Probably, probably two or three persons are going to understand, rest of them will not, because they have this strong foundational belief that my kid is a genius and he can earn a billion dollar. So this wave is unmatchable. It's like the beast that we have unlocked of training the kids at an early age so that he can earn a billion dollar at a very early age. And this is unstoppable. So this train is already on the station. It has arrived here. This piece of pie is already on the table. So majority of the companies are already having this junior.theirwebsite.com or theirwebsite.com slash junior. They want to take a piece of this pie. And I don't think there is anything wrong in that because the train is already at the station. So it's gonna be interesting to see that how things are gonna shape up in the future. At the early phase, I believed when this wave came out that we are gonna have more kids, more brilliant kids and very interesting kids who are gonna learn about programming and will enjoy their life. But now I'm thinking it on a different perspective. I'm thinking that these kids are gonna be afraid of programming like anything and converting these kids in a programmer is gonna be even a tougher job for people like me who are trying at least to do this. So yes, we can say that in very near future, we are going to have less number of coders because people are gonna get scared in the early time uh, because of some of the not so good advertisement and all of that that is happening up. So this wave, this new wave is driven equally by the parents, not to say the harsh word, but a little bit of their greed as well as little bit sprinkled of the false advertisement and a bunch of other features as well. So it's gonna be interesting to see that how this wave is shaping up. And these are my thoughts about what the wave I'm seeing currently and I'm observing this from a little wide open up scenario. What are your thoughts about it? Let me know in the comment section and if you think that some of the parents need to see this video, uh, just share it out. I don't think so if they will make it out through this entirety of the video, it's a little bit longer one. But if even one or two gets something out of it, I think it's gonna do its job. That's it for this one and I'll catch you up in the next one. Keep thinking that I could have done something but now i'm left with an empty heart no making amends no waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all